Today's story is Easter, by Gail Gibbons. Easter Sunday is in spring. Many years ago, baby Jesus was born. Some people believed he was the Son of God. When he was ready, he began preaching and teaching. Soon. He had twelve followers called disciples. In the Bible, it is told that he performed many miracles. More and more came to listen to him. They found new hope and strength from the words he spoke. Some of them began to say he was the king they had been waiting for. One day, Jesus, a Jew, went to a city called Jerusalem with his disciples to celebrate Passover, the spring festival of the Jews. He rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey. Crowds gathered, spreading palm branches on the ground before him. They waved palm branches and cheered. Blessed is the King of Israel. Jesus ate the Passover meal with his twelve disciples. He said he would be betrayed by one of them and would die. They shared bread and wine. This meal is called the Last Supper. Afterward. The disciples followed Jesus to a garden where he went to pray. Jesus had enemies. One of his disciples, Judas, told them where Jesus could be found. The enemies seized him, and the other disciples ran away. Among Jesus' enemies were strict Jewish leaders. They told Pontius Pilate, the governor of Jerusalem, that Jesus was becoming too powerful. They accused him of breaking the laws of the Jewish religion and of claiming to be God. They wanted him put to death. Crucify him! They shouted. Pilate ordered that he be put to death. Jesus was taken to a hill and nailed to a cross. There he died. He was taken down and carried away. The body of Jesus was placed in a tomb. A huge stone was rolled in front of it. On the third day after he had died. The stone was found rolled away, and the tomb was empty. His followers remembered Jesus telling them that he would rise from the dead. Jesus appeared several times to his followers during the forty days after his death. Then he ascended into heaven. The death of Jesus on the cross. And the miracle of his rising from the dead are the heart of the Easter story. Many Christians go to church to celebrate Easter Sunday. Often candles are lit to remind people that after darkness comes light, and after death comes new life. There are Easter lilies and other spring flowers. They are symbols of new life and hope. The word Easter comes from the word Yostra, the goddess of spring. Before the time Jesus lived, there were festivals thanking the gods for spring. The egg is a symbol of new life. For thousands of years, it was the custom to give eggs as gifts. At spring festivals, as part of the Easter celebration, some eggs are dyed with beautiful colors. Some eggs are painted, 
others are decorated. There are Easter egg hunts. Eggs are hidden, and everyone rushes around to see who can find the most. Each Easter, a famous egg rolling contest is held at the White House, where the President of the United States lives. Easter eggs are placed in beautiful Easter baskets with candy and other treats. Many children believe that the Easter Bunny brings them their Easter eggs. This legend began many years ago. There was a story about a woman who dyed eggs for her children at Easter. She hid them in a nest. When the children found the nest, a big rabbit hopped away. They thought the rabbit brought the eggs, and the story spread. Families and friends get together for Easter. There may be an Easter ham or lamb with mint sauce. There are Easter parades. Some people dress up in new spring clothes and wear Easter bonnets. Easter is a religious holiday and much more. It is also a time of hope and joy.